Okay, YouTubers, I've got something I'm really excited about. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my uh, other videos. I've got uh, a couple of videos on building an HDTV fractal antenna. Uh, step one and step two instructionals that go through the mechanics of how to bend your angles to make a Cook's snowflake fractal, uh, and then how to assemble another video on how to assemble them. I use nuts and bolts and uh, plywood and um, I'll, uh, I'll show you that uh, original design uh, later, um, but for right now, I want to introduce you to my new masterpiece. Uh, I, I call it the Mona Lisa of uh, fractal coat hanger antennas. So uh, here she is. Um, I wired it together this weekend. There's no nuts, no bolts, no plywood, completely solid structure. Um, and just to give you a little explanation of how it works, it is a dipole antenna. Uh, there's four layers on here, and I don't know if you can, how well you can see them, but basically there's a half fractal, which has got a, a three star or nine point on here. That's layer one, okay? And it's got a terminal strip right there that my my coax connector is going to connect to. One side of the coax connector will connect to that terminal, all right. And then on the other side is layer four, and it also is a six or excuse me nine pointed half fractal. There's a star tip here, star tip here, star tip here with a terminal here, they're opposing each other, so together they make one full fractal with the with the six points, or the six stars on the ends. Um, so that's layer one and layer four. In between those, I have layer two and three, and what those are, these are my full fractal pieces, uh, which I have the instruction on how to, how to bend these, but uh, basically there's one here. See that? That's one, one entire coat hanger right there. Kind of small coat hanger. I use one of the smaller coat hanger this time. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. And that, what I did is I layered these over and under. One on top, one on bottom. One on top, one on bottom. And then I intrinsically uh, sealed them. Right Where they joined together, I put a duct tape. It's actually, I could have used electrical tape. Electrical tape worked just fine, but I found this silver duct tape. And it, I didn't think it would be as noticeable, which it's not. Hang on the wall, you know, it's not as, you know, these big black stripes from electrical tape would be a little bit noticeable. So I used this silver, shiny silver duct tape. You could use any any kind of uh, insulator that you want. And then all of my joints, I just lined them up and I wrapped them with this. Um, it's like a crafting wire, I assume. Um, I picked it up. by, uh, Here's the. I don't have the cover, but this is what I used right here. It's a crafting wire. I think I picked this up at maybe Hobby Lobby, maybe Michael's. I'm not sure. So uh, all of my joints are bound together. And then where I want a continuity between, there's, so I've got basically, when you look at this now, I've got three, four fractals on layer uh, two. And I have three, four fractals on layer three that are on the same plane. They're separated by distance by the width of the coat hanger. So then when I wired on layers one and four, I used those without any insulating tape to make continuity to everything on that fractal plane. So it's a true dipole, I got, and, it's, and it's, I've got a positive and negative pole with um, terminals here to connect my uh, coax connector to put it on my TV. So anyway, I'm really excited about it. Uh, one thing different, um, please check out my video on how to bend these and how I use parallel lines instead of taking a bunch of measurements. But one big difference that I did on this, which was a lot easier, on my first video I actually measured and made all these lines one inch so they were truly symmetrical, right? Well, um, it was kind of big and bulky. These are smaller antenna and I decided to just use my uh, needle nose as my measurement guide. So all of my um, obtuse
bends or any obtuse angle that I, that I make me, I would use the inside part of my needle nose as my measurement tool and then I would bend that that piece. If it was an acute angle where I didn't have room to get that whole thing in there, I would use my needle nose and I'd go about three quarters up and I'd use that to bend my next bend all the way around on every on every bend and then I use parallel lines to judge uh, the actual fractal shape and hey I think it turned out pretty good it's pretty symmetrical right and uh, pretty excited about it can't wait to test it out uh, I'm out in the woods right now my camper and I'm in the middle of nowhere under a bunch of trees and even with my fractal uh, that I've made previously I don't get certain channels I, I can't reach CBS um, so my reception is not as good way out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's anywhere you go, you're going to have that. I still get probably 20 some odd channels. Um, but uh, some of the ones that are a little farther away from where I'm at and under these trees, I don't get. I'm kind of curious to see what the difference is going to be when I hook this up. So um, I've got a little video that I made, a little um, 3D animation to show you how these layers fit together. I don't have the layer one and layer four, which is the half fractals designed in that in that image. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play that for you, so you can just see how they fit together, you know, over and under. Um, this is nothing fancy. I made it in PowerPoint. I don't have any 3D imaging software, so uh, I'm going to play that right now. Now, uh, next, I'm going to shut the video off real quick, and I'm going to wire this up with my coax connector that's going to go on there. Yeah, one of these. This is a UHF-VHF matching transformer, is what it's called. And uh, anyway, I'm going to hook this up, and I'm basically just going to bend these wires around those two terminal strips, or these tips, and I'm going to wrap them with my wire and put some tape on them and it's going to hold just perfectly and I'll connect it up to my TV I'll show you my original design what I've been using and then we'll do a demonstration to see how uh, how well the Mona Lisa holds up so enjoy happy YouTubing uh, I'm thinking about maybe making these and selling them on you know like Amazon or eBay I don't know what they would sell for it's a lot of work but I mean I, I've experienced that in the past a lot of people are intrigued about it and they really want a good fractal antenna I mean, these fractal antennas, the, the fractal antenna I have is by far superior to um, the amplified antennas you can buy at Radio Shack for 150 bucks. Uh, I had, where I was staying prior, that guy had one of those $150 amplified antennas from uh, Radio Shack, and it, I could pick up like six extra channels that he couldn't pick up. So this, I think, is going to be just incredible. Okay, um, now here it is with the coax connector fully firmly attached. I'm going to go hook it up on the television. I'll bring down my old antenna, show that to you, and we'll get this tested. Okay, I've got uh, the new antenna hooked up. Uh, and I'm doing a scan to see how many additional channels it finds. So far it's found three additional digital channels. Um, and here's my original design um, I, have a, I have a video that takes you through step by step how to make this one it's much larger takes up a lot more space and if you notice it's really not it's not a true multi-dimensional fractal in other words the tips meet but there is no overlay of the six pointed stars and uh, that's something I want to achieve with this one I'm kind of curious how how well it turns out so I'll uh, have the results here in a minute. Okay, now we're up to six additional channels found. Okay, as you can see, I now get uh, several more channels than I had before. HD, I mean, very, very clear. Um, I now get CBS, which I wasn't getting before. So, what do you say? 
I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. Please leave your comments um, below, like, and share. Okay, so if, uh, if you'll subscribe to me, to my channel, you can go through and you can find my uh, other two videos that give uh, construction uh, and detailed plans on how to build a fractal and if you want to build one in your own. And uh, please leave your comments below and uh, please like and please share my videos. And uh, I really appreciate you guys and you have a, a great day.